Look, I don't really want to show you this, but I have to, so I can paint a clear picture of how much I love this DaVinci Resolve feature. And if you're a bit squeamish, then just skip the next 10 seconds because it's ugly. Are you ready? Are you sure? Okay, so this is what my desktop sometimes looks like when I'm editing multiple videos. Are you okay? Yeah? Okay. I can't be the only one who does that, right? And to make it even worse, at some point I also start using video files located in different folders, on different hard drives, download folders, five different desktop folders, old project folders, and it's a mess. It's a hot mess. And you can already feel what's gonna happen next, right? For example, what if I have to give the project to someone else so they can finish it? Or what if I have to travel all of a sudden and now I have to finish the project on my laptop? Well, I could save the project on an external hard drive and then locate all the files manually, copy them manually, relink them manually, and trust me, you're gonna miss that one file, that one important file to finish the project. It's a pain in the ass. But luckily, DaVinci Resolve has a solution. It's called Archive Project, and it's a lifesaver. Super simple also. All you need to do is click on Project Manager down here, and in the Project Library, right-click on the project you want to archive, hit Export Project Archive, and then you get this dialog box where you can choose a location. Choose a location, and then hit Save. And then you'll see this dialog box. And here you can still change the location if you'd like to, but more importantly, you can select what you want to include in the archive. Media files needs to be checked, of course, because that's your video clips and your audio clips. But you can also include proxy files and even render cache files. And that's great because that means that you don't have to re-render effects, for example, on a slow laptop. And then hit OK. Resolve will do its magic. It will locate all the files that you used for your project automatically and then bring them together in one location. It might take a while if it's a big project, and once it's finished, you can go to the new archive folder and you'll see that everything is there, all organized nicely. Then, to open an archive on a different device, in the project library, right-click and hit Restore Archive. Find the archive folder, select it and open. Give it a unique name and that's it. Everything will look exactly like where you left off. All files correctly linked. It's a great feature, guys, and it will save you time and disk space. Learn how to use it. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.